Good evening, everybody. Belchie 90 for another YouTube video. And yes, continuing in with episode two of the 20th anniversary of Windows XP. We're going to be looking at Windows Neptune version 5.11 and also Windows Whistler, the very first version of Windows Whistler. Hopefully that's fixed it. The webcam's a bit blurry. Windows Whistler 2202, which is the first actual version of Whistler. So let's get into the history of Windows Neptune and the history of what, what became Whistler. So Neptune so Neptune was the code name of of a version of Microsoft Windows under development in 1999. Based on Windows 2000, it was to replace the Windows 9X series. It was scheduled to be the first consumer version of Windows built on Windows NT code. Neptune largely resembled Windows 2000, but some of the features introduced, such as the firewall, were later integrated into Windows XP. As of Windows Firewall, Neptune introduced, introduced a log-on screen similar to that later used in Windows XP. Neptune was with a new HTML and Win32 based user interface originally intended for Windows ME called Activity Centers for task centered operations. One alpha build of Neptune 5.51.11 was released to test under a non disclosure agreement and later made its way to various beta collector sites and virtual muse museums in 2000. In November 2015, a build 5.51.11.6 disk was shown on in a Microsoft Channel 9 video. Version 51.11 was the last build of Neptune that was sent to external tech testers with the 0.1 or 0.6 after the build number. After the build number stands for variant, not for compile. It's the only build of Neptune that's it's made its way to the public. Build 5111 included activity centers, which could be installed by copying the a call cool, uh, the ac call dot dll from the installation disk to the hard drive, then running reg reg32 on a ccr dll. The centers contain traces of Windows Me, then codename Manelian, but broken due to JavaScript er errors, missing links and executables in the games, photos, music centers in response to some of the Windows enthusiasts have spent years fixing the activity center in build 5111, close to what Microsoft intended. Although many files in build 5111 have the version number 5.50.5, 5111.1. This is even the true version in the kernel. The kernel actually reports as 5.00.5111.1 to match the subsystem version in its own PE header. In early 2000, Microsoft merged the team working on Neptune without developing a Windows Odyssey. Windows Odyssey was going to be the next um, the upgrade to Windows 2000 for the business consumers. The combined team worked on a new project called code name, code name Whistler, which was released at the end of 2001 as Windows XP. In the meantime, Microsoft released Windows ME in 2000 as its final 9X series installment. Some development builds of Whistler feature, featured an improved version of the login screen found in Nep Neptune build 5111. In the early roadmap for Nep Neptune's development shown in the 1998 to, to 2001 United States first Microsoft Corp documents, there were five service packs planned. Also in these documents, it showed that Neptune was a successor name Triton, which would be a minor update with a very few user interface changes and service packs were planned for it. Internally, the project name was capital, cap, capitalised as Neptune. So we're going to look at Windows Neptune. So let me get my screen. We'll share it with the. So here we go. Now I'm going to close that. Close that. Open my notes. Hide that. I'll bring that back. 
We'll open it up. We're gonna have to do some um, some things first. We'll let it open up. Um, we'll minimize. Uh, we'll just ignore that. So, uh, so I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set the date on the Mac to. Because these builds are time 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 bombed, so if we go, we'll go back to nineteen, and we'll go. And we'll go save. Okay, that minimize and then we'll, what would oh we don't okay that minimize and we'll go to and we're going to create new and we'll go and we'll set this as Windows 2000 we'll give it five 12 megs gonna change this and put it Onto the storage drive. Now it's going to wait. We're going to wait. And we're going to wait. We're waiting. And it's just, it's a bit slow. It's going to be a bit funny because it doesn't, hasn't liked how I set the time. Um, we'll go, where is the virtual images? And we'll go there. And we'll go. Create. I'll give it. Give it fifteen gig. Create. Now we'll go settings. We'll go storage. We'll go empty, and we'll select the media. So we'll go choose, and we'll go add. And we'll go Windows Whistler, we'll go Neptune, Neptune, and we'll go open. And we'll choose the Neptune and we'll go OK. And we should go start. Let's see if this worked. And uh, voila, we're into Neptune setup. So you notice the difference so far is in the installation. The installation is the same as Windows 2000. As you notice here, it just referred back to Windows 2000 professional setup. So we'll go enter. We'll go C. We'll go no one reads that. We'll say Reddit. We'll go create partition. And we'll go create. We'll go install. We'll go yes. So it's just going to format the drive. While we do that, we'll get the iconic win. Iconic. It looks similar to Windows 2000.
rules over the net change to that name will come in. something it's flickering it's flickering it's moving well it does say during this time your screen may flicker for a few seconds so I'm assuming that's what it did then the setup looks very Windows 2000 like even just the only difference is the background's different it's moving it's moving So what I'll do is we'll get this installed and then I'll run the guest add-ons and then I'm going to put the Neptune CD back in. So apparently if you copy over a, a DLL off the, off the installation media and run it through the registry, apparently we can actually um, get an important cool feature that you just might like to see. Hopefully I can get it to work. Which is of... Um, Activity Center, which you would see, which sort of give you the similar layout to what will happen in future version of Windows, like Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista, and even all the way up to Windows 10. Yeah, we're at regional settings. Let's leave it to that. Just go YouTube. Stop the XP music. Now we'll put the mic back to me. Um, we'll go back to server window and we'll set this to Australia, where I am roughly. Uh, uh, there we go. I want that next. Now it's doing the network stuff. And the interesting thing about Neptune, I have installed it in the past, and I look at it, it's quite a cool system. And I think this is probably one of the important beta alpha builds in the evolution of Microsoft itself into the NT operating system. 
especially for, for XP and into future version of Windows, because a lot of the features actually started in this Neptune. And I think at the time, Microsoft was just getting everything and just throwing it at the wall with this beta build, and obviously things changed. So, yeah, so that's it. So just installing the components, all the now it's doing the final stuff. So it did this in Windows 2000 as well. This is just similar, it's just installing the uh, start menu, the, the, reg, the registry, um, files. And this is the first version to introduce this, the logging screen, which is, I don't think it's activated by default, though. I think you're going to have to activate it. TV off. Plug this iPhone into charge. Now it's taken its time on the registry bit. Well, well, it's doing that. I'm going to, to share this. Oh, so, oh, there we go. It's moving. So, saving, save settings. So, what I want to do is, if I do twenty two i two, I'm going to try and do it as an upgrade over Windows two thousand. I'm think I'm thinking as going as far as I can with the Windows two thousand one, and just doing up, just update it. Right. So it wants us to remove the disk. So what we do is we'll remove the disk. So yeah, no disks. Then we'll go finish. Should restart. So we are loading Win, Win, Window or Microsoft Neptune. It says under construction for the very first time. And this, there was another build. I don't know what the version number is, but that was um, – this is the only one leaked. And there's no no um, Windows Odyssey um, versions leaked, but I would have, would, have, would have been, I would have said it would have been similar to this. Let's see how it's – with the Windows 2000. So it has the Windows 2000 sound still. So the sounds are still Windows 2000. Just waiting for the desktop. I've got no desktop, it's glitching out. Mm, that's not good. Reset the machine. I 
what's interesting about these live streams, you, you never know. Nothing's ever going to be. So it's running normal. <laughs> we don't seem to be getting a desktop. So I'm going to turn this machine off. Uh, we'll change the date. We'll change that to the 16th and we'll close that. Save. So let's go Neptune and we'll start it up again. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we'll have to we'll reset. Uh, Pairing. So let's see if it'll load. Hmm. Fascinating. It's not. Hmm. That is bizarre. What I'm going to do is... Go back. I'm going to... This is Microsoft Wiki. Um, I'm going to share this. Now this is what it's going to look, that's what it would have looked like. The interface, so the, the music center, the command center, you can read stuff. Um, I'll also go back and we'll have a look at images. So it, it, it introduced auto, uh, auto update. There's your, there's your login screen. Um, that's what it's targeted as. Obviously, the version I've downloaded obviously is corrupted. Um, I'll have to have a look for it somewhere. But that snapshot, it just doesn't look, it doesn't look much different to Windows 2000. And this is what it looks like without, so you got XP there, but this is without the, that's what it would have looked like, that's what was going to be in there. You could run access applications and stuff. See, customize it. So it was going to be an interesting. If someone's made a Windows XP with a Windows Neptune th boot screen. Um, yeah, so quite fascinating. So that it was Neptune. I do apologize. I couldn't get the, to, to the installation to work. How about we try... Let's try. We'll go. We're going to go. We'll get rid of. We'll move that. We'll go. Oh, share, share screen, window, Mac Mini server. 
hide. Now, with this version, we're going to have to change the date, if I remember. So we'll go the 3rd of... So we'll go... Oh, do want to go to... And we'll go, and we'll go, we'll go the fifth. Power up this, this, this should boot up straight away. Shouldn't be a problem with it. So this is Windows 2000 booting. As you know, it looks very similar. Oh, what is it? I think we get a desktop with this one. Just preparing network connections. Hey! Desktop. So what we're going to do, we're going to go... Device, optical drives, choose a, this image. We're going to go add. We're going to go Windows Whistler. We're going to go this one. We're going to go this one. We're going to go open. We're going to go choose. Then we're going to go to my computer. We're going to run it. Oh. Device is not ready. Reboot it. I'm going to try something. If not, I'll, I'll just make another one. It's not a huge deal, but we'll try it. Yeah, I want you to insert. Give it a sec. Hey! So this CD-ROM contains a newer version of Windows than the one you're previously using. Would you like to upgrade to Windows 2000? We'll go yes. So we'll do an upgrade of this one. I accept this agreement, yes. Copying the files, and we'll go finish. Now it's restarting. Okay, this one does. So this is the very early, this is the earliest late Whistler build. Oh. We'll go F3. We'll go F3. We'll go enter. So this is done. I'll uh, bring him back in the 2000. So I figured that wasn't going to work. So.
So we'll turn it off. Alright, so we'll go new. We'll go Windows. Oh. Virtual my virtual image folder. And we're gonna go give it Windows two thousand and we'll go five twelve. And we'll give it give it thirty gig. That should be plenty. Then we're gonna go into settings. Remember, and we we'll go storage. We gotta get the image, and we're gonna run it. And for some reason, it wants me to select. This. So we we'll select it. Start. Oh, blue screen. Ooh, that was very, that was known with this version. Um, it does, it, it does, it is buggy. Um, we'll try again. No. Well, doesn't that suck, guys? I'll get. I'll see if I can get some pictures. Windows. Because it was rumored to be very buggy. It was hard to install on PCs, and so oh, I just have to share it with you guys. That's what it looks like. So it looks the same as 2000. Yeah, additional drivers that can go all the way back to 3.1. Mm. Yeah, it identifies itself as um, Whistler. Uh, Windows 2000 version 5.0. Um, all the same. Um, yeah, so... So... Get on the win world. The next version of Windows... Uh, the next version in the series... Is going to be 2276. So it's going to be Windows Whistler version 5.1, 2276.1 professional. Oh, no, it's beta 1. Whoops, that's the wrong one. It's going to actually be Windows Whistler version 5.00, 2276.1. Point 
And this came out, I'll have to look it up. So it was comp compiled on the, the 9th of the 3rd, 2000. Um, so, yeah. So it's 20 to 11. That'll be tomorrow's episode, which I'll have to do. I'm hopefully going to try and do tomorrow before work. Or it'll be tomorrow, tomorrow night. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry how crummy this episode was, but I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.